speaking of great show, so a few years after 90210 ended, what I like about you. Yeah. yeah. What was that? Exp- I mean, listen, you, Amanda Bynes and Leslie Grossman, like you had me at like, what could go wrong, right? I mean, it was such a great show. I remember after I finished 90210 thinking, what am I going to do now? Or should I do anything? Or, Let me just take a minute to figure myself out. You know, it was such a whirlwind of a 10 year run. Um, and I took a few years off and I realized I've done so much drama. Let's, let me try comedy. I've never done that. Working with Amanda, who played my sister on the show, we were like sisters. Our birthdays on actually on the same day in real life. And so wow. we're super connected in a weird way. And, um, and, and then Leslie joined the cast, Grossman, and she is, she's the best. I love her. We still talk and we talk about, let's get let's get the gang back together. Like, what would that look like? And, you know, I, I think it would be, I, if, if I were to redo any show, it would be that one because it was just so much fun. And doing that kind of comedy is, is such a great life. You know, you, you get to have fun at work every day and go home at reasonable hours and uh, work with really great people. So I would love to, to do that show again, honestly. Wow. I mean, it was a phenomenal show. Like I said the same thing. I'm like, what, you can't top 902 and out. It was brilliant. It was fun. Would you do the show like without Amanda Vines? I mean, like, you know, her, where she says like, she's not going to act anymore. I mean, I don't know if that's really true. Like, would you do it? You know what? I've learned that, that uh, you never know. You know what I mean? Never say never. I would want to do the show with Amanda. That would be what I would want to do. And um, I would, uh, I would just want to make sure she was in a place where she wanted to do it. And she, you know, that was what she wanted to focus on. I don't really know the answer to that right now, but something I'm definitely looking into. Let's just put that out to the universe. Let's put it out there. Leslie and I have talked about it and we would love to revisit what I like about you. Where does that fall on the range of, you say comedy is difficult, of difficult (laughs) things that you have done in your career? That falls in the please don't ever make me do that again category. Uh, you know, I got I got into it and I was I had no idea what I was really getting into at that time because I think it was only like the third or the maybe the fifth season of the show. Yeah. And um, it was so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I had had a baby, maybe like a six month old baby at home. My last daughter was only six months old when I started that. And um, also it was Derek's first season. Derek Huff was my partner and it was his first season on the show. And he didn't know what he was doing either. I mean, yeah, he's an amazing dancer. He can do anything on his feet, but he really didn't know, you know, about this kind of format or anything. So he was learning as he was going, I was learning as I was going. And it was terrifying, like just being in front of a live audience and having that kind of pressure and trying to remember the steps. It was, oh, it was crazy. Are we done? Because the fans aren't done. I mean, (laughs) are we done? Like a movie, another reboot. I mean, there's always somebody knocking on the door with some idea. (laughs) Um, And it's just a matter of getting everybody on board with the same idea, um, which is the most challenging part. I don't know. Like I said before about what I like about you, I'll never say never, never know what's going to happen. And I just, I always stay open to whatever the universe brings my way, sort of weigh it and and consider it, look at it from all different angles. And um, I'm a very go with the flow kind of person. Like I don't, I'm not a goal oriented person. I've never set goals for myself, really uh, big career goals or anything like that. I like to just kind of go with the flow. And um, I've always said, I'll never, ever, ever turn my back on 90210. I never have. And um, that show, you know, gave me the life that I have now. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. I wouldn't have three beautiful daughters. And, you know, I just, my life is because of that show. And I'm just so always been so grateful and, you know, never, you never know. So after the next time you record a 9021 OMG podcast with Tori, can't you say, come on, Tori, let's come up with another idea. <laughs> I'm usually the one that's like, oh, I don't know. Like, let's, let's really think about that. Um, but there's all these ideas, of course. Yeah. Who knows? At least you're open to it. I'm open to anything. 
That's always good. What about the reboot, the original CW reboot of 90210, which you were a part of? Right. I mean, I know it's not the favorite among some fans. Like I know Ian Ziering has said things like, you know, often imitated, never replicated, that that wasn't really 902. And I don't mean any shade by that. I'm just yeah. curious, like, cause you were part of it. Like what, how did you feel about the CW installation? Um, you know what I had, I was kind of, um, I wasn't sure about doing that. I had a friend of mine, a friend of a friend of mine was producing it and came and sat in my living room and basically said, please, please, please do it. And I am, I didn't want to let anybody down and I felt a responsibility to kind of help in some way. And so I did the show. I enjoyed my, you know, the parts that I was on. I wasn't a huge fan of the writing of that show, to be honest with you. I felt like, um, I don't know. I just wasn't proud of what they put out there. Uh, nothing to do with the actors or, you know, anything else other than just the messaging. I didn't feel was quite in line with what the original show sort of, you know, came up with. But, um, and yeah, I mean, it was a different show. It really, I don't know. It, it, it was weird. <laughs> Are you sorry you did it? Am I sorry I did it? No. I mean, if I, if I could go back, I probably wouldn't have done it. But, you know, everything is, you know, it happens for a reason, so. Would you ever do other reality TV? Like, I know it always comes up, like, at the casting rumors, Tori's always thrown into Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I know you have said, like, you know, you didn't think that show was your particular jam. No. You Lisa Rinna, who's killing it. Like, would you ever, you would never do Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Mm -mm. No, that's one thing I know for sure I would never do. It's just because, no offense to anybody that does it, it's just not me. It's not. I'm not comfortable in that environment. And why would I put myself in that environment? I just got an email uh, this week, actually, about Big Brother, some celebrity Big Brother. And I, <laughs> I read the email and I was like, are they kidding? Why? Like, this is the worst person you could ask to do this. I'm just not, I don't, I don't know. I, a reality, if it's done right, I'm into. I love watching reality. Um, and uh, I think that uh, reality TV can do amazing things. And uh, I would never, I would, I would love to be a part of something like that, but it has to be the right project. And like, I know like Shannon, like wasn't out with her, like, you know, the, the fact that her cancer was back, except for like Brian, like, have you talked to her? Like, how is she doing? We talk on the DM -er, uh, and we, uh, we text sometimes, but I, you know, we keep it very like fun and light. I don't like to pressure her and say how are you how are you feeling like if she needs me she knows I'm always here and vice versa 